A big thanks to Squarespace for sponsoring this week's video. So in this video, I'm gonna show you my take on wildlife photography from a landscape photographer in Antarctica. Morning everybody, fantastic to see you again. I'm so excited about showing you these photos because um, I'm really pleased with them and they took a little bit of thought and probably took me a little bit out of my comfort zone as well. Uh, and it's all about my take as a landscape photographer on wildlife photography. I had no preconceptions going to Antarctica. I tried to avoid looking at photos. The only thing I knew is that I didn't really want to take portraits of animals. Um, I ended up taking some portraits of animals, which I'll show you, but I more wanted to try and take a landscape with animals in it. Um, so a combination of, a, of, of wildlife and landscape photography, um, maybe call it wildscape. Um, but I think I've got some. Uh, it was difficult. There was lots of things against me. Um, obviously, I've never been to Antarctica before. I'm not a wildlife photographer. We were on Zodiacs and boats that moved all the time. Um, and trying to get a really good landscape shot with an animal in it is obviously difficult. But I think I managed it. I think I got one or two photos that I'm really, really pleased about. So I wanna talk you through my journey on that really and tell you how I got to, to, to take in those photos and what my thought process was, what worked, what didn't. And obviously I've got some prints here, so I wanna show you those. So for my first shot, I just want to talk about these seals. We were on this place called Melchior Islands, and which are these islands here you can see. Um, beautiful location, and there was quite a lot of seals there. And I found this seal that I felt, um, if it just got into the right position, would just walk up the rocks and maybe I could sort of frame it in the background a little bit. Um, it proved difficult because I, I didn't have a lot of latitude between where I could move com compared to um, the seal, but I found this little bit of snow that I could sort of fit it in. I just had to wait for the seal to arrive there. And I got this shot, so I was really pleased with this. I, I think it worked really well. I've got this layered effect of the sea and then the rocks and then the snow with the seal in it. And I think this is a good example of, the, of I think, the sort of thing that I wanted to get. But if you take the seal out of the image, I don't, I think the image stands alone on it on its own. So the landscape's okay, but not amazing. Um, and I tried a few other seal shots in, in the landscape, as you can see here, and it was difficult, you know, trying to get that landscape shot when you're on a Zodiac, and there was a lot of shots I did take from Zodiacs where you're moving, and then you just need to get the seal to have the right behavior that will fit perfectly into the into the shot is so difficult. Um, my friend Morton um, has just done this so well. He's got so many amazing shots, but you've, if you've seen Morton's videos, I'll link one up here. He spends days and days and days and days just changing one animal just to try and get one, one particular shot. And we were going to lots of different locations, so it made it a little bit more difficult. But what I really wanted was some penguins. I wanted to, to get some penguins, and that's the sort of image that I was you know, I hadn't visualized much, but I did think that there was gonna be a lot of penguins and I could get a penguin in the landscape. Um, so at, at our next stop, um, we were out in the Zodiacs and I was taking some penguins. And you can see here, it was difficult because um, height makes a big difference. And obviously if you're in a Zodiac, then you can't go up and down very much. Um, you can stand up and stand down, but I couldn't get this penguin isolated. And this was quite a lot of the problems I had where um, you know, there was a line in the background or I couldn't get it quite um, in, in the right position in, in the scene. And it was, it was really difficult. I did get some portraits though. So I wanna show you some portraits of the penguins that I got. And what I mean by portrait is it's more about the bird than it is the landscape. Um, there were some like this shot here, which I was really pleased with um, of these two penguins. And I, I waited to, there was a little bit of separation between the penguins. One was facing one way and one was facing the other, which I felt was quite good because it sort of gave you an idea of the, the, the whole penguin. Um, the fact that they were looking at each, each other worked quite well. It took me a while to get to the right position 
to sort of isolate them in the background as well. But I think that layered effect of the out of focus rocks in the foreground, then the rocks and then the icebergs and the mountains in the background works quite well. I was really pleased with this as, as a portrait um, of, of these penguins. And I suppose you could say this is a wildscape um, because it is the penguins in their habitat. But I feel like because the penguins are quite a, a large part of the image, it's more of a portrait of those penguins rather than a landscape shot with some penguins in them. Um, I did get some other shots as well. So this one here is some penguins on a rock. Um, it's not quite right. Uh, I, I, one of the penguins is just obscured a little bit, but I think it works quite well. I like the rock and the, the sort of diagonal that goes between the rock and the snow in the background. I think that's quite nice. And then these two penguins where they're pointing opposite directions works really well. I really like the background of those as well. So yeah, I, I, I got a lot of nice portraits of penguins and also behaviors of penguins as well. I, f I felt I'd captured reasonably well, like these two, this, this mum and, and baby, um, they were running away, trying to run away from another baby, I think. Um, I think some of the babies sometimes attach themselves to a mother and, um, and it's the wrong mother. But um, anyway, these were two were running away and I, I felt like I captured them running quite well. Again, they're separated quite well from the background. So I was really pleased about that. It was so exciting and so amazing to see these penguins and just photograph them. Photographing them jumping out of the water, these penguins jump out of the water all the time, which I just hadn't realized when I went to Antarctica that we'd see so many of these. But that was so hard um, and I, I did sort of, some attempts at that. I was sort of low down on the beach shore um, when we we're on land, trying to get these penguins jumping in the water. And I got some reasonable shots, but again, they're just portraits. They don't really show the, the landscape so much, you know, the more close up. So yeah, I don't think that was a, a success in the wildscape type shot that I, I was looking to get. But then we got to the, the, a location where there was a really nice um, shape in the snow and the glacier with some really nice colors in the background. And I thought that's gonna look fantastic if I could get an animal in the, in the right place. And as it happened, there was a penguin highway <laughs> just going underneath it. Penguin highways are um, places where penguins just walk down and they create sort of a, a groove in the snow and they all go down these penguin highways. It's so funny to see. <laughs> but this penguin highway was going down here. so. Um, as you can see, I'll, I'll show you the shot. This is, this is one of my favorite shots. It really worked. So um, I got the, the penguins and I took a lot of shots to get this particular shot, but I got the penguins coming down this penguin highway. And I like the fact this one penguin is stuck out in front. You know, it looks like it's moving, it's a bit dynamic. And these two penguins behind. Um, and then this amazing sort of color of this glacier. Uh, and I feel like this, is a good example of what I would call this wildscape, I suppose, um, with the wildlife and the landscape. Uh, I was I'm really pleased about this. In fact, I actually think I'm gonna frame this and put it on, on my wall. Um, I'm, I'm gonna be putting some images on my website um, from Antarctica for, for sale. I just haven't got around to it yet, so I'm really sorry about that, because um, I know a few people have asked me about them, but I will do it, I will do it, and this definitely will be going on there. So this worked really well. Um, I think that it's quite good. That this is quite a strong visual weight down here in the bottom right, the penguins, and then this is a big visual weight here. Um, and so the two sort of balance each other quite well, I think, and, and um, it, looks, it looks really good. That evening, I think it was, we went out in the Zodiacs in the evening. We weren't often allowed to do that. It depends on um, the regulations and what the weather's like, but we did manage to go out in the evening. So I took a shot and this was like at dusk and Again, this is probably a, more of a portrait than, a, than what I would call a landscape shot with a penguin in it. <laughs> um, but I'm a, I really like this because I think it captures the behavior of the penguin really well. So the pen, penguin was making a call here. Um, I got a lot of shots with the penguin on its belly and um, you know just stationary, just looking, which were nice. But this is good because I think there's an isolation in the background as well where the beak is and the eye, it's not crossing over anything too distracting in the background, so that's good. And then just because I've got this big iceberg here, because it's on an iceberg, this penguin, I think that works well, got a bit of reflection. And I, I like this, it was actually shot at ISO 2000, believe it or not, <laughs> on the Z9. And there's, there was a little bit of noise up here, but I think that just gives you a more of a feeling of, you know, it was shot quite um, late in the day at dusk. Right. I'll come back to the penguins because I want to talk about whales. Um, whales, well I didn't expect we'd see so many whales, but we saw humpback whales all the time. Um, and 
they were amazing, but very, very difficult to photograph because to get close to them, you had to be on a Zodiac really, um, or some people were on canoes as well, or kayaks, and, and they got quite close. But back from the um, boat, you could photograph them, and I did get some good photographs of them, but often they were quite a long way away, like this shot here. I've got an amazing landscape shot, and you can just see the whale. I've called it Spot the Whale. <laughs> um, but you can just see the whale in, in the distance there, um, and you know, this is a lovely shot. It's one of my favorite landscape shots. And, and if I could have just got the whale a little bit closer, I think that would have been really, really special. I did get this shot though, with the whale um, just diving down and the tail coming up uh, and, and the light was amazing on this morning. So I was really, really pleased with this. Again, this is a good example of what I call a wildscape. You know, it's a really nice landscape shot, but it's also got an animal in it. And, and yeah, I really like this. I think this worked really, really well. Oh, and please give this a thumbs up. Um, if you like the video, it massively helps uh, my channel. And if you're not subscribed, consider subscribing. Okay, on to the the other whale shots that I took, and this was when it was snowing. It was snowing so hard. Um, and it was actually snowing that hard that it was difficult to focus. Even with the Z9, um, it was getting confused by the snow. Everybody's camera was doing the same. I've seen it so many times before when I've shot in the snow as well. So you had to sort of manually focus with focus peaking on a little bit and try and guess where the whales were coming up. But we were quite close to them because we're on our Zodiacs. And I managed to get these shots here. Again, they're more portraits of the whale, really, rather than um, the whale in its environment. I, I really needed an amazing glacier in the background or, or an iceberg, um, and it didn't quite work. I did get one iceberg, but yeah, the sort of almost there, but not quite. Um, I like the fact there's snow in the scene, but they just didn't quite make the cut, um, which was a shame. And that was it for my whales, really. I saw a lot, I got a lot of photos of them, but nothing that really was amazing apart from that one where the whale was diving with the tail um, at that sunrise. Um, but on that day when it was snowy, we were actually on shore as well and it was amazing. And I did manage to get a shot that I, I really, really like. Um, and that is this one here of these two seals. Um, and before I show you the shot, um, which is just down here, you can probably just about see it here. Uh, I wanted to just um, show you some footage and you can see here I did a bit of video and these whales were sort of interacting and um, I didn't know whether they were playing or courting or um, there were males fighting I, I, I'm not sure um, I should have probably asked that um, somebody in the comments can probably say what they were doing but anyway these these two probably courting were, were, were playing in, in the snow and just because it was so white it just looks so amazing so um yeah i managed to get this shot and um it's it's really really one of my favorite shots you can see the snow just coming down everywhere um and it's it's just fantastic with the shapes of these two seals again with snow on them yeah i think it captures the seals in the environment really well and and, and just by having them in this bottom left corner it gives us big sort of area and gives the vastness that you'd experience in Antarctica, which I think is really, really good. Oh, actually, when I was talking about whales, I was also going to talk about orcas. Um, we saw three lots of orcas, I think, but again, it was very difficult to get the shots. I got some good video of an orca and a baby orca, as you can see here, but the shots I got, as you can see, just, again, just a, it's, it's a capture, it's a record shot of seeing the orca rather than an amazing landscape or wildlife shot. Uh, so yeah, it was nice to see them though. They were so amazing. Just the powerfulness of the, of the orcas was just incredible. Um, I wanted to talk a bit about seabirds because uh, I felt like I got some good seabird shots like this one. So <laughs> it's almost just a landscape shot this and it happens to have a bird in it. But I, I, I feel like that's, that's quite good. I quite like that. So you can see I really liked the rocks and then just the way that the untouched snow was coming down here. Um, and then we've got the glacier in the background. Um, and, and just the bird perched on this rock really made it for me. <laughs> yeah, it's a very small part of the image, but I feel like just that seagull just in the image just gives it something that's just a little bit more special than just the landscape shot. And I think that's where I really like these sort of wildscapes where, you know, I, I've, you know, captured 
an animal, and I quite often do that with birds um, when I'm in like the Faroe Islands or Iceland uh, in the sea, and I feel like they just give it an extra element of something. So I really like that. I also got some really nice shots of birds in various um, positions. So I was taking this abstract of this glacier, and then I noticed this bird coming, so I got a shot of the bird just coming through this glace, glacial abstract, which I thought was really, really nice. When we were coming back through Drake's Passage, we were coming um, to Cape Horn, and I actually took, I was taking the albatrosses um, going across Cape Horn, and then I noticed these birds just flying over in sort of an arc, these four birds, and that was really nice. So that's Cape Horn in the background um, with these four birds. Again, I think it adds, I was, you know, I've taken a shot of Cape Horn, which I like, but these birds add an extra dimension to it. So I like that. And then in terms of portraits, there's some, there's these white birds and I'm gonna put the name of them here because I know and I can't remember. I put the name of them there, but these white birds were just incredible. They were so friendly as well. They just kept coming up to me. Um, one of them stood on my camera bag uh, and I, I sort of spent probably an hour when we were on land just you know, looking at these birds, seeing how they flew around and I took quite a lot of photos of them. I actually took about 500 photos, I think. Um, but I got this one here, which I really like of these two birds just um, taking off and, and I feel like against the snow works really well as like, again, a portrait of these birds. So now I wanna go on to my favorite shot, which is this, this next one here. Um, and um, I think I told a story maybe online on Instagram and this, this was lucky. Um, so this was, I was on the boat, I was photographing the landscape um, and there was icebergs going past and I, I thought I was gonna get some amazing landscape shots, which I did do. Um, but then this one iceberg came, came across and I was actually with a few people and I think James said, there's a penguin on there. <laughs> and as, as it came floating past, um, it got into the sun and I've got lots of different shots of it, but this shot here was the one that I, I think really, really worked. Um, it's just the composition of it worked really well. Um, I waited to the iceberg to get to here. I like the fact there's a slight diagonal between the iceberg and the mountain in the background there because it just creates a little bit more tension to the shot rather than it being symmetrical. Yeah, I just think there's a nice um, bit of cloud because there was a little bit of sea fog that was just clearing here and the sun's coming through and hitting this peak in the background. This in print just looks so good. I am so, so pleased with it. Um, it's just such such a nice a nice print. I really, really, really like it. Um, so this will definitely be going on my site. Um, yeah, it's one of the, one of the one of my favourite images, um, certainly from this year, maybe for for a long time actually. I did take some other shots just of the iceberg and the penguin on it, as you can see here, when it went more into the mist. And I think they're nice as well, but I think just having that mountain in the background, you know, if you take the penguin off here, it's still a nice landscape shot. But adding the penguin just gives it, it's just that cherry on top, isn't it? Which I think's really, really nice. And then the other shot I just want to mention, which was this one here, which was, I'll just put it down here. You can see this amazing um, seal just <laughs> chilling out on the beach. And it was just so relaxed. It just enjoyed just being there. Um, and I was quite a long way away from it and I just wanted to just get the whole white of the, of the snow and then just um, the seal in that, in that white uh, vastness of, of, of the snow in Antarctica. And you've just got some water on the seal's whiskers there. Ah, oh, this is just, how relaxed does that seal look? It looks amazing, doesn't it? Um, so they're, they're my images, they're my, they're my wildlife images from Antarctica. I've taken quite a few more that I didn't sort of show you. Um, and I put those on my website. Um, so there's a gallery on my website, I'll link it down below. So I just wanna say thanks to this week's sponsor and that is Squarespace. Squarespace are an amazing platform and also enable you to set up a website, a domain, a store, um, and then build things like galleries, um, which is fantastic if you're a photographer. Uh, and I've set up a gallery, as I mentioned before, of all the images um, that I've taken here, plus loads more. I did that with Squarespace. It was super, super easy to do. Um, you can put a title, a header in your gallery. So yeah, it's really easy to do. And the great thing is, if you're ready to set up a website or a domain, then you can head over to squarespace.com forward slash Nigel, or use offer code Nigel and get 10% off. 
Okay, thanks ever so much for watching this week. I hope you've enjoyed it. That's the last video I'm going to be doing from Antarctica. Um, I'll probably show some Antarctic images uh, in the next few months, but uh, I won't be doing any more videos from there. My I'm hoping that I'm going to be able to get out into the woodland and shoot some spring images. Um, my knee's improving a little bit, but I still got to wait for an MRI scan, which is taking a long time because of my pacemaker. It just takes a long time to organize that. And then I may have to have an operation as well, but I can walk on it at the moment, so that's good. Okay, until next Sunday. Bye.